in this session we are going to see how to handle the frames inside a web page frames or iframes so the day uh, the way we deal with those in selenium is little different uh, we cannot directly work with the objects inside the iframe now uh, before we go over there let us try to understand what is a frame inside a web page now i tried to create an example of iframe over here in our testing page a frame is nothing but an HTML code clubbed inside an HTML code. Now, this main page, if you look at it, it's an HTML code. Inside that, if you club an HTML code from a different source, that will be treated as a frame. So if you see, I'm scrolling over here and it gets scrolled as a separate page inside a page. So this kind of a structure is treated as iframes though very less websites use this but still uh, in testing sometimes we deal with such an example where we want to work with the objects which are inside a frame or iframe and then the method is same to deal with those so as in last few sessions we saw how to you know switch the driver to the new browser pop-up or how to switch the driver to the alert in the same way when we want to deal with the objects inside an iframe simply we need to switch the driver to the particular frame and then once we switch normally as we work with the other objects we can also work with the objects inside the frame so let us try to use the same example in the eclipse i have created the chrome driver and let us try to navigate to the testing page so driver.get once we navigate to the testing page then we want to understand the objects now how to find out whether a particular section is a is a frame or not so to find that out the most simple way is use Firefox now over here when I'm trying to inspect the elements inside the frame let me try to inspect the elements inside the frame like this one now when I inspect the elements inside the frame it will happen two things either you will see the iframe you will try to I mean you will see that particular HTML inside the iframe sometimes it is hidden sometimes uh, for security purposes it is not shown in the HTML document but you will see something like this iframe over here so when you click on that you will see all the iframes which are present on the page so this is the first iframe which is present this is the second iframe which is present and hash contact frame it means the ID of this frame is contact frame and hash to do it frame so do it frame is the ID of this particular frame now let us see how we can switch to the frames so process is simple again driver dot switch to dot frame and there are three things there are three overloads available over here first overload sets you can just use the index and using the index you can switch like zero frame first frame second frame third frame so on but this is not very reliable method because browser and the page web pages are dynamic in nature if the uh, the locations of the frames are changed then this might not work so uh, this is not very reliable method but the second and third method is, are very reliable S second method says provide a string parameter for the frame so what does it mean by the string parameter is provider either id or the name now in this case we saw we know the ID of the alert how do I know because hash signifies ID always so this contact iframe is the ID of this particular frame simply so if I use contact iframe I can get the control of this particular frame so all I'm going to do is use contact iframe as the ID that's it in the beginning when we do driver.get 
the control or the focus is on the main page but on the next line when we switch to a frame whose ID is this or name is this anything is possible for this we will get switched to this frame there is another overload which we were talking about driver dot switch to dot frame the third one third is web element you can create a web element like driver dot find element by ID or by name or by X path CSS path whatever you can create a web element and provide that web element over here and that web element should be for the frame so in this case if I want to create the web element it would be like frame 1 is equal to driver dot find element by ID because I know the ID in this case we want to import the web element from selenium and this frame one so dot frame we will use the third overload and just provide frame one in this case and absolutely we can use anything in this case over here we can use xpath css or whatever we want to use to create the web element just create it from for your frame and use it in the third overload so second method and the third method are very effective so for this particular scenario we are going to use the second overload so let me remove this part now once we switch to the frame we are good to work on that so we are on this frame uh, let me just see this contact frame yeah this is the contact frame where if you see inside uh, it is saying feel free to contact us and there are different sections over here so what I want to do is I want to click on this particular button over here or that logo over there so let me try to inspect it and it is it has the text it's a class so I can use class to get this locator so once I switch over there let me add some thread dot sleep driver dot find element by class name and this is the name of the class dot click so once we click on that object it will just uh, you know get this kind of a left side menu and we'll come to know that the driver has switched its focus on the uh, frame now from this frame if I want to switch back to the another frame because there are two frames which we saw over there same thing what we'll have to do is we will have to get the details of this first frame and then switch to the particular frame in this case it is do it frame So let me again put some wait in between so that we can see execution happening and driver dot switch to frame and I'm going to use the second one and the name of the frame is do it iframe and driver will switch the focus to the do it iframe in that do it iframe let us see what we can do let us try to enter some details somewhere okay let us go to the bottom and let us try to enter details in this email address over here so when I inspect that it has input tag and it has some ID I can use this one I can use the ID to enter the details over here and once the control is switched all we are going to do is try to enter some details
by using send keys method that is how we enter detail into any text box or edit box by using send keys method so what we did in the beginning we were on the testing page which was the main page then we switched to contact frame we clicked on mobile and we will see when the execution happening whether this click happens then after that we are switching to the another frame in the in the page and then we are trying to enter some details inside that frame now this is important from the frame if I want to do something outside like if I want to click on something like this a button over here on my main page then the control switch should be switched back from the frame to the main page or the parent page and to do that all we need to do is driver dot switch to and in that case it is parent frame so in this case the parent frame would be your main page or the first page when you get when we do the driver dot get method okay and once we switch the frame to the parent frame in that case we can work on the objects which are there like in that case if I want to click on the test pop up over here all I can do is just click on the button so to create the X path of this all I'm going to do is just make some changes in the fire path provided X path and driver dot find element by X path dot click So just for visual purpose let me add some weights in between so we will switch and then we will enter some details before we switch the frame let me add some weight also and when we click also let me add some weight and then at the end driver dot quit so it will quit all the windows which are opened by driver so let us execute it first and then let us discuss any questions if you have so let me execute it okay so it clicked on that particular button over there and then it's just waiting for those three seconds whatever weight we added nope let me see what's going wrong it seems it does not no such frame exception so it means we did something wrong to it my frame so what it's saying is this particular iframe is not present and let me see why it is saying that oh 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 correct I'm so sorry no when you are inside this iframe in that there is no such iframe present right so before going to this frame we will have to come to the parent frame we will have to come to the parent frame and once we come to the parent frame then yes we can find this iframe this is very important okay so we were on the parent then we went to a frame from that 
when we try to see the other frame but this is not inside this one this is inside the parent frame so we had to come back to the parent and then inside the parent we want to search the another one and then it will work okay let us run it Okay, it clicked on that button and now you can see it also enter the details over here and it clicked on the that button also which uh, which was giving the pop-up so it did all the things over there so this is how we switch to the frames in order to work with the elements inside a frame or iframe so three things are important over here switching to it switching back to parent frame and once once we switch the way we deal with other elements inside any browser uh, we can work exactly in the same way because iframe is nothing but it's it's just the same HTML code but it refers to some other source so it is coming from some other source and it is clubbed inside your page 